anytime you go against like the societal, societal norm, no matter if you're doing something right or wrong, people are going to not like it because they want to believe that what they're doing is the right way to do it. And so if you're doing it differently, they're not going to like that. And I bring this up because that uncomfortable feeling that I got when everyone is looking at me like I'm freaking crazy is the exact same feeling that I got when I started this whole Oh, you're just going hard. That was like year uh, one. I just going hard for no reason. Like I yeah. wasn't doing it for anything. I just wanted to like jump higher, like get faster, and like be more powerful. Just for no reason. I just wanted to like find out what it's like to like be strong and like just. I, I guess that whole idea is like just transcendence, you know. Yeah, you were just recording yourself. I just recording myself. Yeah, yeah re recording my life. Like this is like me and my first girlfriend. <laughs> like bits and pieces of my life and nah. I, I want to show you one last thing. <laughs> 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 Your presentation might fuck me, man. That's like, like this, like that's saying something. No, the, no, it's like you, you know, know what I'm saying. Like I'm you, very proud of that. When you said like you're a math major, mm -hmm. and I was like, that's my fuck. It's totally different what you're doing, but you're applying that. It's logic. the analytical mind, it's the man. Analytical to the, mind. To the yeah. YouTube. Yeah. What, what part of LA are you? I remember you used to play the violin. I played for at least five or six years. That's actually quite a while. Like, when can, I was, can you still remember something? I don't talk about as much. I could play it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, maybe we should do it like a duet. We do something really easy. Well, I would have, you would have to let me practice it for at least like a, a little bit. Okay. Um, the man yeah, behind Matt, the camera. Matt, oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, like, like you, I put a lot of girls in my videos, but they have to be girls like... I'd uh, session. Also, I don't have the connection for it. Oh, really? So like that's why I said I couldn't do what you do because like you interact with you interact with like random girls. You could try, man, but yeah, it's uh it's definitely difficult at the start. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff. Sometimes I count the macro first. Sometimes order the food first. Well, we figured out. That that that's such a that's that's like an insight. And then we just figured out that the thumbnail is so important. So we thought like we just noticed that when we had good thumbnails, the videos went viral. So we might as well like the think of the first. thumbnail first. Yeah. I have all those pictures. Yeah. So so that could turn that into a video. Well, it's like moderate carb, moderate fat. Now, now I'm having more of like a, a 90 to 100 grams of fat. I'm just testing it out, man. I'm constantly like, you know. It's kind of like testing out the YouTube algorithm. Right? Yeah, man. I'm constantly testing out the, the body algorithm. And think about it, man. Think of the reason why a lot of these people started. is because they were like, they had like insecurities when they were young. So they started, you know, wanting yeah, to get bigger. Yeah, yeah. I know that's how I was. So 
lot of us are, yeah, are fucked yeah. up in the head. Yeah, they're though. fucked up in the head. Exactly. That's why, like, all the fitness people that I connect with them, because, like, even their, even if their videos aren't fucked up, you gotta be kind of fucked up and, like, kind of insane to, like, execute this shit. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I agree. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm weird, man. Yeah. I'm fucking weird. Like, <laughs> like, most of us are, like, Brandon, Brandon's, Brandon's weird, too. Brandon's yeah. Yeah. weird. Like, we're all weird, man. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, what it takes, like, in the mind to hop on all those drugs and, yeah. like, know what it's doing to your body, but, but just wanting that like freakiness so that, like these guys they don't even care about like looking like aesthetic yeah. they just want to be like freaks because I don't know it's kind of like okay you know the, you know what I really like is the, the female body it's like the, the female ones like, like it's jag not like the beginning ones the right. fe- I, I always watch the female ones and I'm like I look at their face and I look at their head I'm well, like because what the fuck they're like, like crazier than like well they're literally like they literally like turn into guys you know I must say that there's like a like it's almost a certainty that we would be in a simulation because that's a mathematical formula, right? Yeah. Because and just, you, know, you can just think about like think about in like uh, like we were already we already have virtual reality, right? But think of in ten years, like how almost perfect it's going to be. You can see like that this is a base reality is like very unlikely. Yeah, I really think virtual reality is really good to bring people outside of their body. I think that there is a base reality, and if there is that base reality, is it is it like this reality, or is it like way different, like that we couldn't even comprehend? I, I don't think there's a base reality. You don't? No. I think like every reality, like the reason why we think this reality is the base reality, that's like conditioning. The mechanism of reality is that it is its own perfect simulation. Every object that you perceive is simulating itself in a self-recursive manner moment by moment even virtual reality is part of reality that is simulating itself so there really is no distinction between what we're seeing in the virtual reality world and after we take off a goggle we see in the real world both are hallucinations what we know as reality or the universe is just one gigantic holistic hallucination, a void that's floating not on nothingness, but us nothingness. There is no solid base structure behind appearances. There's only appearances. Any description of an appearance is nothing but more appearances and so on. How do you like LA, man? I like it a lot. Where did you move there? Like two or three months ago. You've been there? How many times have you been there? I actually went to school there for two years. I really? Went to, I went to art school there for two years. Oh, yeah. so it's kind of like the, the, the superficiality thing. It's like they push that to the extreme where it's almost fascinating. It's like under... Have you seen David Lynch's movie? Who? David Lynch. Uh-uh, who's that? Uh, it's a, he's a filmmaker. He made movies about LA. And then he's a portraying like LA in a really fucked up way. It's kind of like bodybuilding. It's just like on the surface, it's like all the sunlight, the, the, the palm trees, and like the girls, it's all like the beach, what beautiful, but like, it's something yeah. fucked up yeah. that's constant, that, that, that's making okay. that prettiness, like the contrast, sure. it's like really exactly. cool, yeah. And another thing about LA I really like is like, it's like an image, it's like, it's like a screen, it's like the rest of the world copies LA. Like they want to produce what LA produces. So what does L what does LA copy? It almost like copy itself. Oh, so that's almost like, like the base of it. So yeah, so it's like base of it. But what is it's LA's like base? Like it's almost like itself. So it's like a mirror. When you hold up a mirror to get itself, you go into infinite spiral. Infinitely empty. You know how I said I really like the jet side, like the American American girl kind of look. Right. But it has to be something fucked up underneath that. Yeah. LA is like everything about that. Yeah. Or else it's just too too it's too boring. Yeah. It's too boring. Were you guys here that? How long are you staying staying in New York actually? He uh I went to a meditation retreat, like ten days of silence. You can't talk to anyone for ten days. He meditated from like four AM to like nine PM. That's crazy. Yeah. And I compared that experience to bodybuilding. Yeah, and then he went there too. Like he wouldn't go with me, but like the reason why we connected today is because he told me he went he, he went to one of those retreats. I, I was so happy when he said uh, I really like your passionate videos because most people come up to me. I really like your eight thousand calorie videos. They're very rare. People are like I really like your passionate videos. No man. <laughs> I even commented on it. Like, is it, is it challenging to do? And what, what? You know what? This is what I think. If you can do this, like bodybuilding, is like your YouTube thing, you could do that. Wow. But, uh, so, you think there are a lot of benefits from from doing going through that experience? Yeah, dude, a lot. Like, especially like 
Yeah. Just for like, with, with, even with like, if you, like, let's say if you're a bodybuilder, you only go in there to be a bodybuilder, better bodybuilder, because I made so much gains after the experience. And I think one of the reasons, the, the more obvious reason is that you increase your pain tolerance. Your tolerance for pain, like you can just push through more. Just like meditating for like 10 hours a day, that's pushing for pain. That's a physical, like, and the other one is like, I think the mind muscle connection is there. What I also realize is on a daily basis, you have like these negative thoughts that are not something that are helping you to do yourself. If you do with Vasana after that, they're like 10%, 20% less of these thoughts. Right. So you wouldn't give a fuck even more doing like prank stuff. And a lot of times, when I notice the pranks are doing really well, like I'm in the moment, I'm in the flow state, right? But. A lot of times I'll mess up and I'll be thinking too much. If I'm doing it correctly, yeah, like I'll be present in the moment. But so do you think that's kind of like a muscle that you have to train? The more you do, the more you can boom, I'm gonna be in the moment, right? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And also like pick up too. Like, oh yeah, all the things are related. Yeah. 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 I, I need to get to that level. I've started. Do you meditate also? I've started doing it like like a few minutes every day, nice. but I haven't got to the high level yet. You know, did you like, know the app had Headspace? And that's why I use. Yeah. Yeah. Just the difference between like being aware that you contract this muscle and like just just lifting without being aware. It's a it's a world of difference. It's almost like a different dimension. Uh, right? Because you could be like thinking about other shit, but, you, but once you're aware, in the moment, you're aware of it, yeah, and you're focusing on the contraction, you're focusing on the body. That's actually like a really good form. That's of just meditation right there. Like you don't have to sit on meditate. I look at bodybuilder as like a gateway drug to meditation, or vice versa. I believe that yeah. because I actually have found meditation like like yeah fairly easy because I'm more aware of my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like um, you know what's funny though after the meditation. Retreat, I started to appreciate body but even more. You think it's the opposite. You think like, oh, I went to this spiritual retreat. Oh, I'm not gonna care about my body anymore. You look at reality as like a non-dual kind of perspective. So there's no more distinction between like mind and the body. I mean, what we think of as physical is it's, it's created by the mind. Yeah, exactly. When did you, uh, have you always thought like this deeply? <laughs> no, actually no, when I did didn't. You, when did you start questioning all this stuff? When I took a philosophy class in college. But before that, I was like already doing weird shit. I got you. But like I wasn't analyzing why I was doing that. And I played the violin. And I'm sure you, when you play the violin, that forces you to think kind of differently. Right? Okay, so I think the reason why he's able to come up with like different ideas and combining different niche, that's the that's the like sort of like the baseline of creativity. It's like combining two unrelated ideas or like you look at how creative a person is based on how many different fields that he's he's immersing himself into. Like my YouTube. Channel. Yeah, yeah. Like my, uh, the creativity is combining it's different, ideas. different ideas. Yeah, every idea or like object is just a combination of yeah, other like yeah, ideas exactly. Or yeah, there's yeah. never really like a truly original. That's kind of like my, uh, my my life model. It's like everything just inside your mind. So like, right. even if you're an introvert like you, when you're doing all that shit, you're you're interacting with your own mind. So there's nothing to be afraid of. If you're a complete introvert, that means you're an extrovert because you're sucking everything in. Mm. So if, you, may, yeah, yeah, if you're a complete so. extrovert, you're an introvert because then you're you're flipping your yourself so completely outward to the external environment. Yeah. I <laughs> you become an introvert. That's why a lot of people that say they're introvert, they do so much shit that's not, that's totally contradictory to like I see, all being. Yeah, it's like, you, like you. See that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of like, these fitness people that I talk to, like these YouTubers. Yeah, they're like they're introverts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they end up doing all this extroverted stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. So like that 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 dichotomy between an introvert and extrovert. It's just like an imaginary line, right? Yeah.